Shoot. Steph, you uh, feel like you guys threw one away today? Yeah, I mean, could have played a lot better. But, you know, we did. We did enough to take it in overtime. We had some clean, clean football at the end. Um, we just didn't do enough. I mean, I feel like uh, we're doing a lot of good things. Can't take that away from the game, but uh, there's some things we got to get fixed. So, uh, back to work tomorrow. How was it so difficult, Steph, to find that balance with running pass? It seemed like I was, was doing that real well in the first half. Second half, up 17, you would figure that, you know, you would try to run it a little bit more, but that didn't happen. Like, how do you find that balance? I mean, it's taking what they give you. I mean, I, I trust that they're putting us in the best situation to win. So, like, uh, as far as I like, with the balance, like, we were moving the ball, especially in the second half. We did move the ball. We had success. So, it's not like, uh, as far as, like, the imbalance wasn't working. We were, what we were doing was working. You know, so whatever they call, we just got to find a way to make it work. So, yeah. Yeah, you can point the issue of what's going on in the second half because that's really three games now where things have kind of slowed down for you guys. We got to continue to play sharp. I mean, I feel like we're coming out in the first half, uh, mind sharp, you know, getting after it. And then we somewhat hit a little low and then kind of got to get back in the groove, it seemed like. And then it seemed like when we got to get in the groove, it's always crunch time. And we always manage to kind of like figure it out and make a way. But uh, it'll save us if we don't take that low, don't take that little gas of air. So, um, you know, Vaughn always say don't blink. And I feel like we might be blinking a little bit, especially when we come out trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? We've lost every toss. So <clears throat> the ability to come out there on offense and being able to play fast and man, maybe even double dip, it's, it's been lost a little bit. We got to work on our uh, heads and tails a little bit, get a little bit of good luck. But um, we just got to continue to play. You know, I mean, this game has its ebbs and flows uh, along with the seasons. I mean, we can't ride the roller coaster. So, uh, chin up. Would you call a lull? Is that sometimes taking the other team lightly because no. it's coming easy? No. I mean, if you, if you look at the score, the score was still tight. When I look think about a low, I feel like uh, it's more so not being that sharp. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, like me jumping off sides. Like, like that, like that's what I mean more so like a low, not so much about the other team because, like I said every week, the other team gonna give you their best shot. You know what I'm saying they always gonna give us that, so uh, I'll heavily anticipated, never a low, more so looking inward more than anything. How jolting, how jolting was it to feel like pretty much everybody in the stadium that this thing is gonna end, and then the, and then the snap, and that happens, something just crazy like that happens at the end. What, a sense of how you were feeling about that, and maybe. Guys around it. I mean, jolting, that's a new one for me. Uh, never really heard that one as far as like, with the football. But I've been a part of uh, some crazy games, as we all know. So I never really take it as anything. But football happens. So you got to continue to play. How do you kind of move forward to make sure you guys tighten things up in the weeks to come here? I feel like our preparation is there. Um, we don't go in a week trying to do switch up a whole lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? We, we do what works. And we got to continue to stay at it, stay consistent. You know, uh, like I said, don't ride the, ride the roller coaster. That's what the league wants you to do. You know what I'm saying that's how these games come up. You'll win some, you'll lose some. You win, you're the best. You lose, you're the worst. So, um, stay consistent. Um, I'm not gonna change anything about my routine. Just keep going hard uh, and, and try to increase my effort. You know what I'm saying I feel like uh, <clears throat> I should have I should have put the game away. We had four minutes. I missed a, a third down, and I had a chance to end it. Then I jumped offside. So, looking inward always. You know what I'm saying I could I could play better. So. Knowing the competitor you are, knowing the competitor Josh is, how do you kind of keep him more on an even keel so he's not pressing? Because now it's another loss. You know he thinks about that stuff. Yeah. He wants to lead. How do you kind of keep him here yeah. instead of pressing? If I know Josh, I know he's extremely hard on himself. So I, I don't play the role of saying, oh, I mean, I don't know. I never even talk about the negative stuff. I'm more of a positive guy anyways. But I got his back, no matter how it shakes out. Um, our quarterback gives a lot of effort. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the game, you saw him lead us all the way down, all the all the way down the field. So especially taking the positives from it, he's going to hate it for 24 hours. But uh, I got his back. I can't. I take the good with the bad any day. My quarterback is a winner. Um, we lost two games. You know what I'm saying we just trying to bounce back at this point. Uh, we playing a lot of good football, and it's things that we can get better at. That's all I can really like attest to. Like we can be better. We will be better. I feel like I should have been more patient and trusted him. Um, I saw him coming, but 
I feel like they, we had enough blockers that it was more bo it was more food on the bone is what I say. I was trying not to leave no meat on the bone. So I was more so frustrated with myself because, you know, when you get in those high retention situations, you want it bad. I want it real, real bad. So I could have just been a little bit more patient and let the O-line be the O-line. You know, they, they do a great job. So uh, that was a little bit of my frustration. Not, no, not necessarily nothing else. That, will it help sharpen your focus to know that you've let the Dolphins and Jets catch you in the division? Um, I mean, I, don't, I I can't say like it'll be like, you know, the Dolphins and the Jets are right behind us. Like that's not that's not the world we live in. You know what I'm saying they're good teams. We're a good team. You know what I'm saying more so far in your own land because you can't go do anything more or less for the Jets. We played them again in Miami. We played them again. Uh, that's down the line in the in the season, but. Uh, Sharpening your focus will come from just always looking inward. It's not really looking at anything everybody else is doing, and everybody else is doing that one eleven. If everybody doing their job, we can always come out with a mindset of all right, we did what we could. I'm saying, can we be better? Yes. Will we be better? Yes. 